So, ladies and gentlemen, this example, um, what we're basically going to do, Green? What we're going to look at in this example, ladies and gentlemen, again, the main important thing, the first step that I wanted you guys all to apply, Samantha, was to be able to isolate your square root. So we're going to do that by subtracting 5 on both sides. Okay. Now, I have the square root of x plus 7 is equal to x minus 5. All right, so when you're subtracting 5 from x, you're going to have x minus 5. Now, I have my square root isolated. So to undo the square root, I need to square it. So I'm going to square both sides. Now, here's where the biggest mistake that students make. Please remember, guys, x squared is x times x. Everybody agrees with me on that, right? Yeah. So therefore, if I said x minus 5 squared, that equals x minus 5 times x minus 5. Something squared means something being multiplied by itself. So when we have a binomial being multiplied by itself, we have to apply FOIL. So I get or destroyed a property. x squared minus 5x minus 5x plus 25 is x squared minus 10x plus 25. Okay? So now. That's like a whole other process that you could have subtracted. It was not like that for addition. Go back around that way, please. Um, so now, right, well, no, go around that way, please. So now you have x plus 7 equals x squared minus 10x plus 25. But the thing is, this isn't anything that's ever really new. It's just re remembering what stuff we've already covered. So the next thing, guys, is we have a problem now where we have variables on both sides. And we also see that we have a quadratic. So if we're going to be solving a quadratic, remember the only way to solve quadratics was either using the square root method Factoring or, or um, factoring or the quadratic formula. Well, to do that, we got to get it set equal to zero. Remember, the first thing we always did was set it equal to zero. So to do that, I subtract an x on both sides, and I subtract a seven on both sides. Therefore, I have zero equals x squared minus eleven x minus eighteen, or plus eighteen. So now, to learn how to factor this or to solve this, we want to see if this is factorable. So I go and say, what two numbers multiply to give me positive 18 and then add to give me negative 11? Negative 9 and negative 2. 0 equals x minus 9 times x minus 2. Okay. So remember, you take those factors and you multiply them through. Now we apply the zero product property. And we have x minus 9 equals 0, and x minus 2 equals 0. You're going too slow. So once you guys go ahead and solve the quadratic, now all we simply need to do is we, again, as I mentioned, guys, we have to make sure we plug our answers back into our original equation. So. Because there are going to be ones that are not going to work. So let's do 9 plus 7 plus 5 equals 9. 9 plus 7 is 16. The square root of 16 is 4. 4 plus 5 is 9. 9 equals 9. So 9 works. Now let's do 2. Two plus 7 is 9. 2 plus 7 is 9. The square root of 9 is 3. 3 plus 5 is 8, which does not equal 2. So therefore, 2 is, nine. is not a solution. Okay. So, so Mr. Logan, I just have one Check. question. No. Crystal, I understand you want me to